Je m'appelle Patricia Lefront. J'ai été euh, attaquée à la CITE le 1er décembre 2009. Parce que la CITE se vend partout, dans n'importe quel magasin, pour simplement euh, 1,95€. Moi, ça... Ça m'énerve, c'est comme maintenant si on mettrait euh, facilement euh, des armes Colt 45 euh, dans les grandes surfaces. Tout le monde crierait euh, au scandale. Ben, L'acide, c'est une arme. What we've seen in the UK over the last three years is approximately a 50% increase in the number of recorded attacks. So in 2017, there were 941 attacks across the UK, of which approximately 50% of attacks occurred in London. So that means the UK now has the highest recorded number of attacks in the world. We have a studio in Old Street um, and about Christmas last year there was a, like a loads of acid attacks happening in the local area. Just outside our door two guys got apprehended by the police and it just made me get a bit scared and I thought wow I'm, I've not really heard much about this and I wanted to generate some sort of creative campaign, some ideas around it. I reached out to a local charity called Asti. I didn't realise but they were locally based in Hackney. Um, met up with Jaff, uh, Jaff came over and basically together we've organically grown the creative to really focus on changing legislation on uh, the selling of acid. The purpose of the campaign is really about trying to bring about legislative change across Europe. Um, what we've seen in the UK is the government intending to pass a new bill which will you know, introduce controls around the sale of acid, um, age restrictions and the need for ID. What I'd like to see happen in Europe is for the European Parliament to adopt a similar approach. Um, and once we've adopted that legislation, I think we'll see a reduction of the number of acid attacks occurring Europe-wide. The creative came about really because uh, I'm not very good at looking at things like, the, like casualty or hospital programs or anything like that. And I wanted to find a medium that kind of depicted this, the, 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 the transition from a pre-attack and post-attack using um, a, a different type of medium than, let's say, photorealistic photography or, or something. Um, so we used paint and we wanted to use painting as a way of expressively changing between uh, a pre-attack and a post-attack situation. And by depicting it in paint, um, the original picture we wanted to create was a very detailed, very long picture that would take many hours to create. Um, and then over time, it will be uh, completely manipulated in camera in a very short period of time, very similar to the situation of whether or not, you know, you were growing up all your life um, and you got to a point and then this uh, attacks happened and very quickly, you've you know, obviously completely changed uh, appearance. Parce que je trouvais euh, l'idée jolie, euh, en douceur, et ça la reflète euh, bien de ce qu'on était avant, de ce qu'on devient après. The standout moment for me was when we started to paint it uh, to realise the complexity of how you paint a, a very beautiful picture over many, many hours and then asking the artist to completely change it. Well, I think the ultimate goal has to be to end acid attacks. As simple as that. That's our mission and that's what the purpose of this project is about. We just want to see an end because there's too many people suffering incredible levels of facial disfigurement, psychological harm, and I think governments need to step in and start introducing laws and enforcing those laws. But the only thing that me tient really to heart is to read that the laws have changed and that, effectivement, the work of the JAF is accomplished and that the demands that we make are applied so that the buyer gives his identity. Ça, ce serait une chose accomplie.